Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. This is a little bit about the Pay School Performing Arts International Performance Ensemble, BA Acting and BA Directing. A little bit about me. My name is Akash. I'm from Irvine, California. Uh, yes, in and out is very worth it if you're not from there. Uh, definitely go try it if you ever visit. But um, I'm a BA acting major. Uh, you'll get to know more about me, what I do uh, through my major, but stuff I do outside of my classes and all that is that I'm a part of Yes Anderson, which is an improv uh, group or troupe uh, on campus, and we have shows every other Friday, so if you guys want to check us out, we are on Instagram. Um, also, I was a part of Pei Shakti my freshman year of high school, or oh my gosh, college, oof. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, that's a Bollywood Dance Fusion group. Um, I'm currently a sophomore, I forgot to mention that. Um, I'm supposed to be having an internship in May, June-ish, but hopefully that all goes through with everything going on, but that's it for me. Woo! All right. Uh, hi, folks. <laughs> My name is Doug. I'm also a sophomore. I'm a, a BA directing major with a minor in film and screen studies, and um, I'm originally from Long Island, New York. Long Island and represent. Uh, on campus, uh, like Akash, I am a tour guide. I am also a part of the Forzheimer Honors College. Last year, I was a part of Pace Frequency, which is one of our acapella groups on campus. And if you notice that this picture on the slide is the same one as before, I'm not um, either person on the right of Akash. I'm actually in the dog suit because I, one of my other on-campus jobs is being T-Bone, the Pace University mascot. So there I am with Akash and our friends Lucy and Nick hanging out. And then off campus, I do some things like live in an apartment in Battery Park City. I work a few jobs over in Midtown, and this summer I'll be an intern at the Muni in St. Louis. So it's a little bit about me. Akash, here's the mic. Take it away. Oh, thank you, Doug. So um, a lot of people tend to ask, what does IPE stand for within our, for our program? That stands for the International Performance Ensemble. And this is pretty much a description from the uh, Pace Performing Arts website. The International Performance Ensemble incorporates the BA acting and directing programs into ensembles or companies that enter into a year-long process of collaborative development and production of full-length plays. Students take performance ensemble courses in their first and third years, alongside other core program requirements such as acting, movement, vocal production, etc. This is a highly individualized and professionally guided program. Unique in the landscape of performing arts programs in the U.S., students have a special travel abroad experience in the third year of the program to present their work. If you still don't know what any of that means, don't worry. Um, I don't think me or Doug really had an idea, um, but we're here to pretty much clarify all that. Absolutely. Um, so on that note, let's talk a little bit about freshman year, some of the courses you may take, what the scope of that may look like. So uh, the first semester, whether you are an acting major in the International Performance Ensemble or a directing major, the core classes within the International Performance Ensemble that you'll be taking are acting one, movement one, performance ensemble one, and if you are a directing major, you'll be taking stage management one, along with some other uh, core requirements from the university. Um, basically, the way that works is for the directors, our program really wants to train um, strong actors in that first year, so you walk into your directing classroom with that experience of being in an acting class, what's that, what that's like, working with your peers, it's really great. Um, and acting one and movement one um, look like a traditional acting program um, in the United States. They're great. You work with uh, a lot of contemporary plays and acting one and movement one is awesome. And performance ensemble one is a really cool class that starts to explore a method of theater making called devising, which really is what our program of the International Performance Ensemble is based in, which is really cool. So you get a little bit of that traditional experience in acting one and a little bit of a new perspective in performance ensemble one with that devising and collaborative creation. And uh, from performance ensemble one, about a night a week or so, um, depending on the year, you might have a few evening rehearsals from your performance ensemble one class, collaborating with your peers, working on original pieces to present at the end of the semester. And also during your first semester, you do a practicum as we call it, which is basically where you work on the crew in one of our main stage productions, the first semester of your college experience. For both Akash and I, if you look at the top right, we uh, were on run crew for Les Mis, Akash worked props, I worked costumes. It was a lot of fun and it was cool to meet people from other majors in Pace School of Performing Arts and to work on a musical which was awesome. So that's a little bit about your first semester. Akash, here's the mic. Oh, thank you. It's pretty warm. Um, so for second semester, um, the acting majors and the directing majors are still taking those same classes together just to build that foundation. So what that looks like is acting two, movement two, performance ensemble two, and world theater. Um, 
acting is pretty much like Doug was saying, it's your traditional conservatory style training that you are still getting, same with movement and performance ensemble, you're still collaborating with your peers. Uh, world theater, uh, it's, I personally like taking that class because it's just you learning about different cultures and also how theater has shaped other cultures just around the world. Um, and also during your second semester, you and your whole ensemble. So if you look at that bottom picture, that's the whole class of 22 uh, for me and Doug. Uh, it's kind of, I mean, you can see that they're both categorized by acting and directing, but um, we all get shuffled and mixed into two separate groups or ensembles where we devise our very own show with a guest director. Yes. Hand in the mic to Doug. Woo! Here are some uh, production photos from our workshops of those devised shows with the professional guest director. On the left, there's cult classics. And on the right, postmortem. So cult classics was about a bunch of cults in America and their impact on society. And it was really cool and crazy. And then postmortem is the story of <laughs> a family business who operates a funeral home and ended up doing some really shady things like selling body parts on the black market without telling families. Really crazy, very different shows, but very, very <laughs> exciting. And um, basically the way it worked is they were presented in rep with one another. So each show was under an hour and presented together on one great evening of theater. So on to sophomore. Oh, that's me. <laughs> on to sophomore year. So this is where um, directing and acting is pretty much going to separate. So for first semester for acting, uh, what I took last semester was acting three, vocal production one. Movement three is optional. If you do want to take it, you can. I believe it was one credit. Um, so it's not a lot of credits that you're taking for that class. Uh, script analysis is another class that you'll also be taking. Yeah, and for directors, you start your directing training um, in your sophomore year with directing one and then directing one lab, which is basically just an extension of your directing class or some time to work on scenes or do some reading, whatever it may be. And you also take script analysis along with the BA actors. Yeah. And also sophomore year, so pretty much you workshopped your show uh, freshman year towards the end of that second semester. Um, once you workshopped it, you'll be working on that same show again with that director, but you can make tweaks and changes to it. So if you felt like some stuff didn't work with your show, you can definitely change that up. Uh, and once you do go through that rehearsal process, once again, you can definitely, you'll get that chance to uh, present it as a main stage show. But uh, then on to second semester, um, you will, for actors, you'll be taking acting four, vocal production two, and movement four is also optional. Uh, the prerequisite for movement four would be taking movement three. So if you did take movement three that first semester of sophomore year, you can go ahead and uh, take movement four. Yes, and the directors take directing two and directing two lab. And uh, Akash and I are both, you know, these are just your core classes for the major, once again, there are a number of performing arts electives like clowning and puppetry and stage combat that you can add and pack into your schedule along with your core requirements. Um, so it's a lot of fun. I made this during my puppetry class. Puppet time! Fun oh, fact, yeah. Doug took puppetry too. Yes, I took it last year. Akash is taking it currently remotely. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. And there's so many great electives and everything that pump up your schedule with on top of these great classes. Mm -hmm. um, what's this? Oh. Main stage production photos. You can see the glow up from the workshop <laughs> uh, to your main stage at a New York City theater venue. We've got on the left that same cult classics production round two um, with cool projections and awesome lighting. And then on the right, we've got postmortem round two. Um, yeah. Next. Next. Junior time. So first semester, what happens is that you get to study abroad in Barcelona. So uh, you'll get that chance to take those classes at uh, IAB, which is the International Arts in Barcelona. Um, there's a lot of combinations of classes of acting that you'll be taking, uh, dance classes. Uh, so I've, what the current juniors, they were the first year to go there. But what they uh, talked about in terms of dance was that they took tap classes, jazz, hip hop, theater, uh, dancing for the theater class as well. Uh, you do more devising as well, as well as directing, and you do get that chance to take theater history. So you can, you know, get that, build that foundation of what was theater. And also um, a lot of your classes are gonna be focused more on Shakespeare, more on classical work. And I think what better place to do it than Europe? Yeah, great. And then uh, second semester, you hop on back, you're back in Manhattan at the New York City campus, and um, actors continue with acting, uh, or performance ensemble, vocal production, which is optional, and there's an advanced scripts analysis class, which is optional as well, which is something you'll learn about once you get here. It's a little bit of a different approach than the required script analysis you take, and the directors take directing for, performance ensemble for, and that optional advanced script analysis. And uh, second semester, your junior year, is when you split up into something called small ensembles. So they're throwing a lot of information at you, but if you could rewind your brain just 
just a little bit to the, that uh, second semester freshman year when you get split up from say the class of 20 actors and eight or so directors you get split up and are put into two ensembles and uh, we created the cult classic show and the post-mortem so your second semester junior year your class is split up into even smaller groups with one director and uh, two to three, three yeah two three actors um and you all collaborate to create an evening of adapted short stories uh, which is really really exciting um and a really unique sort of peak of your programmatic experience with the international performance ensemble and you begin collaborating as the director with your actors in your small ensemble your second semester junior year so yeah yeah. Singing, yes. Singing. So first semester, uh, for acting majors, you'll get the chance to take business of acting. So you'll know more about equity, uh, SAG, and how that works. And if that's something that you want to lean more towards or not <laughs> lean more towards, also agents and representation. Uh, you'll also be taking uh, the next acting, which is acting warrior. Yes. And directors, it's pretty much the same scope where you take a performance workshop, which is a class that really prepares you for the something we call the Now Festival, which is the presentation of those adapted short stories, a night of original work um, is what it's an acronym for. That's what performance workshop is. And then uh, for the business of directing, much like Akash, you learn about the professional world, what it looks like to be a part of a theater company, uh, what we bring in guest speakers, all this really great stuff. And um, the seniors of the directing class actually take this class at the Drama League, um, which is a cool, really, really, really cool off-campus uh, organization that um, really fosters great things from our directing students. So, yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, and then second semester, uh, what actors will be working on is their senior showcase. So um, uh, actors are going to find a monologue that they can present to a bunch of ca casting agents and directors, as well as scene work from uh, people from your class. So you'll be working on those for your showcase. Yeah, same with the directors. It's, uh, it's a bit different the way the showcase works. This year, uh, before we went remote, the showcase was going to be a uh, presentation of these 10 minute short plays. In the past, it's been scenes. Um, and the director's senior showcase is at the Drama League. And I believe the um, acting senior showcase is going to be at the Tank this year. Yes. Which is an incredible off-campus uh, venue for emerging artists. So um, you don't do your senior showcase at Pace, you do it at an amazing off-campus venue where casting directors and um, agents, all, every, all these great, great resources can come and see what you've got. And you perform your Now Festival pieces or the Night of Original Work, some of which you're going to see in this next slide. Ooh! Fabulous. It's really great. And it's, um, so if you could also think back to the fact that uh, in your sophomore year, you get that main stage Pace University experience with the shows that you developed in your freshman year, you presented the full-fledged productions. Now here's another main stage opportunity as a student of the International Performance Ensemble at Pace University, either as a BA director or as a BA actor, you are guaranteed two main stage productions over your years at Pace, which is cool. Yeah. What's this, Akash? What's this? It's Radio City. Why is this there, Doug? Um, I think it's where you graduate, everyone. What? You don't graduate on the quad. You don't graduate <laughs> in the gym. You graduate at one of the most iconic New York City theaters, venues ever. And if it's not here, where else could it be, Akash, if Radio City isn't available? Lincoln Center Theater. <gasps> or Madison Square Garden. Oh, my God. I want to go here. I oh, want to go here. That's why. Oh, wait. Now, Akash, um, I'm a prospective student. Yes. And, um, this all sounds great. Mm -hmm. it, um, it sounds really cool. It sounds like you get a really great education. But like, I'm just curious, what do the graduates or what do some of the current students, you know, over the summers, everything, what do they do that's outside a, of PACE? That's such a great question. And really glad you said that, Doug, because our next slide kind of goes over a bunch of stuff that people just, you know, dip their toes in or are oh. still working with. So, What's this all about? What's this? I'm like trying to move our <laughs> profiles because it's like there's so many things. Um, so people are just are just like all over the place. I mean, because you are being, uh, you know, trained and just fostered in an environment where you're constantly, constantly collaborating with people, you're yeah. going to be someone that's going to be easy to work with. So there are a lot of theater companies uh, that definitely do hire people that graduate from the BA program at Pace. Let's hear them. The Renaissance Festival, the New York Theater Workshop, Dixon Place, uh, oh, uh, this theatrical group, Up Close Festival. Fun fact, I'm in that picture down there. The fun fact, Doug got an internship there. Elevator Repair Service, Disney Cruise Line, The Tank, The Shakespeare Company, The Shakespeare Theater of New Jersey, Sitting Shotgun, New York City Center, UCB, Life Itself, which is a Dan Fogelman movie, and One Year Lease Theater Company. Woo! 
people. That's a little bit about international performance ensemble from <gasps> it's two of your favorite tour guides. Yes. If you have any yeah. questions, they can email welcome center ny at pace.edu. And they'll refer you to us to give you the best answer possible. Heck yeah. Thanks, guys. Come join the family at Pace University Woo! International Performance Ensemble. Woo! Woo!